Hello everyone. So this is going to be a little bit of a um, more relaxed style of podcast today. There's been a lot going on. We'll get into that in a moment. But my name is Kay and welcome to the Crazy Sock Lady YouTube channel. This is going to be, like I said, a little bit of a relaxed podcast episode. If you follow along on Instagram, you'll know that I just rented an office space to move Crazy Sock Lady headquarters out of this room in my basement into an office space. I'm going to have so much more room. I'm going to feel so much more organized. <laughs> and I'll be out of here with just the flood and the mess that we've had down here. It's going to be nice to be in a space and have a little bit of separation from home life and work life. It's gonna be great. But that takes place August 1st. So I have just a little bit of time, but it's been a busy, busy, busy week with finalizing all of the details that needed to be done and things that needed to be taken care of to get the lease signed and all of the things for this office space. And then I recorded an episode of the One More Row podcast with Carrie. I will link that. It's here on YouTube. It actually goes up today. Today is Friday. It goes up this morning. So it's just felt like a whirlwind of a week. I did not even write show notes. I think this is maybe the first time I've ever not like written anything down for the podcast. We're just going to wing it today. And like I said, it's definitely going to be more relaxed. And I hope you all are okay with that. Next week, I'll be back with a vlog, and that will be the last week before I'm in the office space, and my plan is to work in there Monday through Friday, so I'm really excited about that, and I think it'll be great to get settled in there and get on more of a routine, and just when I'm there, just be focused on work with no home distractions, so I think it's going to be great. But here we are today. <laughs> you can find me on Instagram and Ravelry as the Crazy Sock Lady. I will link everything down below. I'll have the link to the Crazy Sock Lady Ravelry group, um, my Instagram shops that I talk about, project pages, all of the things. They'll be right there, like it always is. What else was I going to chat about this morning? <laughs> no show notes. It could get interesting, but I hope y'all are here and along for the ride with me. I'm drinking some coffee this morning because it's still pretty early. I don't even think I brought my phone. Oh yes I did. It is not even 8 a.m. yet. <laughs> drinking some coffee out of my crazy sock lady mug that is on my in my Spreadshirt shop is where you can find that and it's super fun. You can change the color of the font, add your own little text if you want to add something on it too. It's It's a great website. So as far as announcements, Summer Sock Camp is still going on. The knit along for Summer Sock Camp runs until the end of August. So we still have quite a bit of time left in this. August for me is going to be finishing up all of the sock whips. I know a lot of you are in the same boat as me and you cast on so many socks and you just can't seem to stop casting them on because I'm right there too. So we are going to, or I'm going to, be trying to finish all the socks in August before the knit along ends at the end of August. The details and everything about summer sock camp, anyone can still join in anytime. All of that is over in the Ravelry group. I think that's kind of it for announcements. Um, the Etsy shop will be updated today. So this should go up on Saturday. So the Etsy shop will be updated today on Friday. So head over. I'm updating. Um, so many people have been asking for the pink snips and green snips because those were out of stock. So those are going to be back in stock. I have some needles going back in stock. Notions tins back in stock. I'm looking at all the things over here so I can try to tell you guys what is going to be back in stock that was out of stock. Um, the yarn ball tape measures, rose gold tape measures. Yeah, quite a few things going back in stock. And then what's going to happen when I'm moving into the office space? So the update will be... Turn this on, do not disturb. The update will be today. I will 
probably keep the shop open through Tuesday or Wednesday of next week and then shut the shop down so that I don't have any more orders come in because August 1st, which is a Sunday, we are going to be moving stuff into the new space. And I want that week um, after the first to kind of get settled, get everything organized in there, and then I'll open the shop back up. And when I open it back up, Fingers crossed, as long as I get everything finished and finalized, I will be opening back up at crazysocklady.co.com. I will go ahead and link that down below. You can put your email in and be notified when the shop opens up. But it's going to be um, where you guys will find everything from now on. There will be all of the items for sale that have been in the Etsy shop will be over there. I will have my patterns available for purchase over there. It's going to be just kind of the hub for Crazy Sock Lady. You can go there to see what's coming up, what's going on. There'll be links for the YouTube here, links for tutorials. Um, I'm gonna have a summer sock camp page with info about summer sock camp. So everything is gonna be over at crazysockladyco.com. I'm super excited about it. I think it's gonna be a great move. Um, yeah, just a good place to have everything and kind of perfect timing with moving into the office space to then open up the website. Let's chat knitting. I brought just a couple of things down to chat about because I just recorded with Carrie yesterday. So in some ways I kind of feel like if you watch both, I don't want to seem <laughs> repetitive. I'm hoping once Carrie and I get in a good routine with recording and I get in a good routine with the office space, um, cause Carrie and I haven't recorded in forever that on the weeks where I do vlogs, that's when Carrie and I will record. And then the, the next week will be crazy sock lady podcast just so you guys have a little bit of a separation between the two this week they're going up one after another because it's just been a crazy week and I could not not record this week I have quite a few prizes and different things that have come in the mail and I could not let them stack up <laughs> any longer and I wanted to record with moving into the office space um the first anyways knitting let's talk about it I have a finished pair of socks. So I knit DK weight socks for the first time. This is Mandy's Makings in the Daydreamin' colorway. I am obsessed. They knit up so quickly. They feel so great. I think they're gonna be perfect. I don't know that I would ever wear them in like my regular shoes just because I like a thinner sock. That's why I love a 75-25 um, fingering weight base. But these are going to be so amazing for around the house or around the office. Um, on those cool fall days or cold winter days. And then I think they're going to be amazing in my snow boots and even my Uggs. They're going to feel so nice in those shoes especially when we take walks in the snow, which hopefully we will have this winter <laughs> as much as we did last year. So yeah, these are going to be great. I loved it. I am working on a pattern right now. I did use a US 3, 3.25 millimeter for these. And I'm working on a pattern. I've cast on, that'll be the size medium, what I did. This will be the size large. It's in my summer sock camp bag from so crazy crafter and these i've cast on for eric and i have one sock done let me grab his sock blocker do you guys like my shirt so we went and saw side note the beach boys in concert i mean there's only two of the original beach boys still <laughs> playing with them but we went and saw them this past Sunday night and it was a great show so I had to get a shirt okay this is the pair that I did for Eric this will be the size large in the pattern I wanted just peace of mind to work up it's just a vanilla sock but I wanted to work up each size small medium and large is all that I'm gonna have right now um, peace of mind to make sure that I had everything correct so I knit up the size large using fingering weight held double. Let me show you the two yarns that I'm using. So this is leftover from the socks I knit for my mother-in-law. I'll talk about these in just a moment because I don't even think I had them cast on the last time. So 
I'll talk about those. And then um, Tina's Twisted Fibers, or no, yes, right? Tina's Twisted Fibers. Ah, I can't remember the name of the colorway. Rusted Steel. I just need a pair of socks for Eric out of those. So those are the two. I'm probably not going to have enough to finish a pair, but that's okay. I'll just pull some other scraps in and the second one will not be all of this, but he doesn't care. So I love how they look when you hold fingering weight double. That does give you a DK weight and I just think it looks so nice. I thought more blue would show, but it's definitely more yellow showing. So yeah, the first one is done. I have cast on the second. Just done a couple of rounds. And I sent off the pattern this morning to Kristen Duso Knits, who does my pattern layouts. And just to kind of see if she can do that layout for me. And she is gonna knit up the size small, I believe. Like I said, peace of mind. I just wanna make sure they're all good. And I will actually just be putting this pattern up as a free download. Just as a thank you, I feel like y'all have supported me so, so much over the years, but especially it seems like here lately. And I'm so extremely grateful for your support. So as a way to say thank you, the DK weight pattern will just be a free download. It'll be available on Ravelry just until the website opens up and then it'll be on the website as well. So I don't have a date yet for when that will go up, but I don't think it should take too long. Like I said, just it's just a vanilla pattern. I just need to get some pictures and then see um, when Kristen can get the layout done. So, and the size small done. So as soon as it's done, it'll go up. And I hope that y'all enjoy DK weight socks as much as I am. I am really loving the fingering weight held double with this. I just feel like that's gonna be such a way to kind of stash bust. For one, using up scraps and just kind of marling everything together. Two, I can just grab two skeins of fingering weight, hold them double, and go for it. I think it's gonna be fun. So I will have in the pattern, I'm gonna see how much fingering weight yarn I use, how many grams. And I will put that in a notes section in the pattern so that you guys know like okay, that's how much she used for a size large and a men's size 10. And you can kind of gauge it from there and see. But yeah, super fun. Loving these so much. I should, this one I finished in like 24 hours. That's how quick they go. And that wasn't like, I didn't knit straight for 24 hours. That was just 24 hours of me, like my knitting time that I had throughout. They go so, so fast. The socks for my mother-in-law, let's talk about those. I don't have them here. Oh, the yarn's in the other bag. Sorry, let me grab it. I don't have them here to show because I've already gifted them to her. So my mother-in-law was visiting and when she visits, she always just is so amazing and pitches in and helps out if there's anything that needs done for the Crazy Sock Lady shop. She has put so many progress keepers on product cards. This last time she did so many notions, tins, putting, all the light bulb markers in the stitch markers the needle the sticker on like the full thing she did so much of that and she this last time i was like okay i'm gonna pay you this time um and she would not let me pay her so i said okay then i'm gonna knit you some socks and she's like i can do that <laughs> i can make that trade so what i did is before she left i had her go into my cabinets back here and pick out some yarn. I said, pick like, I don't know. I think it said three, four, five, whatever. Pick out some yarn for socks. And so she did, I think she picked out enough for five pairs. So I grabbed a project bag, put the yarn in there. And I'm like, okay, this is what I will pull from to knit socks for you. So this is the first yarn that I pulled. This is Legacy Fiber Arts in the Jack's Lament colorway. It's one of their Halloween colorways from, I could not even tell you when, um, but I've had it for quite a while. I will put a picture up here of the finished socks. Oh, no, dropping the yarn. Because they are done and I have already given them to her. So 
she was here visiting and then the boys went back with her to West Virginia and then Eric met her halfway to get the boys after they were there for about a week and um, he gave her the socks then. So I did knit them two at a time on two 24 inch circulars, which I love that method so much. The two circular method for two at a time or one sock. I absolutely love it. So that was a lot of fun to knit those up. I always enjoy knitting socks for her because she loves them, but it, there was just something that made it even more special because she had picked the yarn. I loved it. So yeah, those have been started and finished since the last time that I recorded. I need more coffee this morning. I only brought one other thing down. So I am bringing this down because I need to focus on it some. This is my July share a pair from Mandy's Makings. We've been knitting these share pairs together for so long now and I love them so much. Every single month I just get so excited about them. But with all the new stuff I've cast on for summer sock camp, <laughs> this has kind of fallen to the back burner. So I need to get it done. I have the first sock just through the gusset decreases. And I decided to stripe these like I typically do the share pairs. I just love doing them this way. So I did this for the, I'm going to do this for the contrast for cuff, heel, and toe. And then I'm striping in the kind of mint color. And then on the next sock, I will do the mint color for cuff, heel, toe, and stripe in the red speckled. I'm doing Magic Loop US 1 2.25 millimeter. 64 stitches. Same as always. My vanilla socks on Magic Loop pattern, pretty much. And then just striping. I have a tutorial showing how I stripe those. So I'll try to remember to link all those. If you ever are looking for my tutorials, you can just go to the tutorial playlist here on YouTube and find all of those there. So yeah, I'm showing those because I'm trying to get some work done on them. And I thought that might be like a great motivation. <laughs> and that's all that I brought to work on or to show. Oh my gosh, I desperately need to finish that coffee. But I do have a ton of stuff to show um, that has came in the mail since the last time I recorded. And then we have a giveaway winner to announce. So I'm going to go ahead and do that before I forget because I don't have show notes to look at and make sure that I'm not forgetting anything. So I'm going to put the name of the winner from the last episode here on the bottom of the screen. And if you will just get in touch with me and congratulations <laughs> and just get in touch with me at crazy sock lady podcast at gmail.com. Give me your shipping information and then I can get this sent out to you ASAP. All right, we're going to go through all the things here. And if you're, you don't want to stick around to see what's in the mail and you just kind of wanted to chit chat for a bit and see what I was working on. And thank you so much for stopping by. But if you're sticking around, there's so much that you do not want to miss. So I highly suggest that you do stick around. So I received a package from Happy Mermaid Yarn Co. I love all of their colorways so much. And she sent this and said they have been doing solar jar dyeing with minis and they wanted to share a pack with me for my scrappy projects and they are so gorgeous it's solar surprise number 10 is what this is labeled as the sun's coming in this door I never record this early so the lighting like I said relaxed podcast today but look how pretty this is I love this so much I'm gonna try to well it's gonna get a bit blown out with the sun but Oh man, it's gorgeous. So pretty. So I cannot wait. These are 20 gram minis. So I could even do a pair of scrappy socks with these. That would be fun. All right. 
And then Beaver State Yarn sent over a couple of skeins and this one blew me away. So this is called Campfire. And as soon as I saw this, I opened the packaging and I looked at it and I was like, oh my gosh, that looks like a campfire. And then I saw the name and it is just like exactly a campfire. So there's their logo. And this is on their Beaver State Soft Sock, which is a 75% superwash or super fine superwash merino, 25% nylon, 100 grams, 462 yards. I mean, it is just perfect. So perfect. And then this one is Crushed Berries. It's so good. So I love these. So I think this is gonna go into like giveaways or summer sock camp. Um, oops, I'm spilling stuff over here. <laughs> I have all my supplies over here for work stuff. I can't wait to get in that office space. I am gonna vlog about it. So that's gonna be fun. Keep an eye out for that. I'll vlog about the whole process of, I'm gonna start Monday when the internet gets hooked up, start the vlog there and vlog through getting everything set up. So. You'll get to see, but it's going to be so nice to get in there and have different spaces. I'm going to have a room for packaging and all of the things like that, and then a space for recording. So it's going to be really nice. I won't be like knocking things over and spilling things all the time. <laughs> um, anyways, these are going to go for a prize or summer stock camp. We'll figure it out as, as I go here. crinkling you know that means exciting things so this is from so Livy dyes yarn I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly there's her logo and she sent over some yarn but also some progress keepers I'm going to go ahead and show those first while I've got them here. They're super cute and very lightweight. And then there's also this cute sock charm progress keeper. Very sweet. And this colorway is just beautiful. So pretty. Look at those pink speckles. So good. It's called I See Pink. This is on her 7525 Superwash Merino Nylon Blend. Um, 437 yards to 100 grams. I mean, I See Pink. That's such a good name for this. So, so pretty. And I will have coming to the shop something that's going to be super fun um, that I'll go ahead and mention because I have only chatted about it in an Instagram story when I put the call out. So I am going to start carrying some Indie Dyers yarns in the shop. I'm hoping like my hope with Crazy Sock Lady Co. is I want like a curated shop that's like a one stop shop for sock knitting and maybe expanding to things later down the road. But right now that's my plan is a one-stop shop for sock knitting. So right now I've already got some notions, needles, you know, all those fun things, but I want to expand that more. And I'm always so passionate about promoting these small businesses, as y'all know. And so I thought what a better way than to see if I can pull in some small businesses for some wholesale accounts and give them more exposure and at the same time have that one-stop shop that I'm dreaming of and I don't know I think it's going to be so much fun so keep an eye out for that I'm going to start placing those orders the end of next week and start carrying those probably not as soon as the website opens but a little bit after is when I'll have received those so yeah I thought I would mention that as I'm opening <laughs> 
some of these packages from these amazing small businesses. So this is from Whitney of Moon Glow Yarn Co. And you guys have probably seen her recently on Natalie Nitty Natty's podcast. She's shown some of their yarn and that's where I first saw them. And I just thought their yarn was gorgeous. So when she wanted to send this over, this is her sweet treat sock set. When she wanted to send this over, I was like, yes, please. <laughs> because it is so beautiful. So this is her 8020 Merino Nylon Blend. It's a superwash merino. And just trying to see if it said what this was. I imagine this is probably a 50 gram. And then you've got some minis here as well. So fun. And then she also sent over the Sweet Yarn Cozy. which if you've never seen those, you can just put your cake of yarn down inside of there and it kind of keeps it from exploding and becoming a mess <laughs> all over your project bag. All right, I ordered some things. I did, I ordered some things. I haven't even opened this package yet either. Okay. Legacy Fiber Arts, I just showed their Jack's Lament socks. I put that picture up of the ones for my mother-in-law. They have their new Halloween yarn. I don't know if it's still in the sh their shop, but it was. And the movie that they picked for this Halloween um, collection is Practical Magic. I love Practical Magic. It is one of my all-time favorite movies, so I could not resist. So this one is the Practical Magic sock set. Just look at that. Oh my gosh. It is so good. There's their logo. Oh my goodness. So this is on their Steel Toes, which is their 7525 Superwash Merino Nylon Blend, 463 yards to 100 grams. Um, and then it's a 100 gram skein and then a 20 gram mini. I cannot wait. I'm gonna save this one for when I watch Practical Magic. I typically will watch it in the fall. I also ordered a DK sock set. This colorway is Jilly Bean. And this is again from their Practical Magic collection. And this has two minis and then a 100 gram skein. And it's the 7525 base as well. So I can't wait. This is for sure going to be DK weight socks for me. And I may cast this on sooner rather than later because I'm so feeling the DK weight socks. So what I'm probably going to do is when the pattern's ready to go out, I'll cast those on. Um, it's kind of a fun new pattern release thing. Speaking of the sock camp picnic pattern comes out August 1st. So it'll be before the next time I record. And this was exclusive for June, for the VIP campers through June and July. And now it's going to be out for everyone else August 1st. It is a super fun pattern. I've got some tutorials in there for the stitches. It's a good one. So that'll be out August 1st. Keep an eye out for that. All right, I ordered something else too. So I have never, oh dear. I've never had any Chelsea yarns. And I saw her post this and I could not resist buying this. This is Tequila Sunrise, right? Tequila Sunrise? Yes, Tequila Sunrise sock set. It is so bright, so bright. It's got a pink and a black mini. It is just gorgeous. There's her tag. If it will focus, there we go. And this is 
her 8020 superwash merino nylon yeah so good so bright and gorgeous so I'm very excited. I'm excited to about the colorway and I'm excited to finally have some of her yarn because I have never had any Chelsea yarns. I am dropping things all over the place. Okay, so Emily who does all of my progress keepers that are currently um, have been stocked in the shop she also dyes yarn and she sent over some sets for summer sock camp prizes so she is fangirl fibers and here's she has in the sets yarn and then progress keepers as well sets oh, these might be stitch markers nope they're progress keepers so each one she sent over four of them each one has yarn and progress keepers in them this is Unicorn Party, one of a kind. Sorry, but I am leaving everything in the packaging. They all have the same cute little gnome progress keepers. These are all one of a kind, I believe. All one of a kind this one is so fun it reminds me of cotton candy so pretty so kelly of ritz fiber sent over um some prizes for summer sock camp and she also sent over a coupon code so let me show you the yarns first so this is her logo And this is tea, rose, and mint is the mini. Very pretty. And then here's a mini skein set for Summer Sock Camp. And these, it feels like it's all 75, 25. She doesn't have the base road on here but they're um fingering weight so they feel like a 75 25 and the coupon code that she gave for her shop is welcome 10 and that'll get you 10 percent off something else that i ordered i've been naughty lately <laughs> there's just so many things and i cannot resist so leap of faith yarns i love all of her colorways so much this one is amazing it's called english garden look how pretty that is this is on her 75 25 superwash merino nylon 462 yards to 100 grams i could not resist when i saw this colorway so beautiful she also has a little thing of stitch markers and these are my favorite size because I knit with fingering weight so much I love the tiny little round progress keepers so I also I showed on the these on the vlog um from last week but I'll go ahead and show this one because I haven't caked it up yet so pretty twisted yarns I just cannot get over all of her self-striping I love every single thing that she posts and I've already caked up cast on i'm knitting away on the hey you're crazy witch socks but i also ordered her america colorway red white and blue self-striping there's her logo and this is on her lush base which is her 75 25 superwash brino nylon a lot of 75 25 y'all <laughs> obviously it's my like preferred sock base but yeah i love this I'm probably gonna save it for next 4th of July. I think that'll be perfect. We're almost done, I promise. I know it's a lot. This becomes the problem um, with recording like an actual sit down thing every two weeks. 
So I think what I'm going to do is start showing things on the vlog like this as well um, so that it's not quite as much when it comes time for a regular sit down episode. Okay, so this came from the sweetest viewer and she sent two yarn from two of her favorite Aussie indie dyers. Um, it was so kind of her to send these over and they are amazing. Like if I could have looked at these yarn dyers pages and picked yarn, this is probably exactly what I would have picked. So this first one is Louie and Lola hand dyed yarns. And this is called Dusk Wings is the colorway name. Look at that. Amazing. This is on their Merino Nylon Sock, 7525 Superwash Merino Nylon, 465 yards, 100, 100 grams, excuse me, I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, absolutely gorgeous. So pretty. And then this one is Fiber Lily. I mean, this is, that's the yarn company's name, Fiber Lily. Look at that. I can't get over these. And they are both so, so soft. This is Crazy Pink Limited Edition is what the colorway name is. On their super soft sock, 100 grams, 426 yards. It says it is 75% super fine Australian superwash merino, 25% nylon. Absolutely amazing. Okay. Oh, there's my Hey You're Crazy Witch tag. <laughs> yarn label. I also have, so Amanda Mandy's making sent these over for me. We're going to cast on the Pierre, I think that's the name of it, shawl by Stephen West. And we're going to use up some of our row one minis because she's getting the row one yarn mini subscription too. And we're going to hold it double because it's a DK weight shawl with her Aw Naturel. So she sent over two skeins of this so that we can get those started. I need to message her today because she said she had it caked up and I was like, I need to get mine caked up. I don't think she started yet either, but I can't wait to get that started. There's so many things to knit. I need more hours in the day, <laughs> but this is going to be so fun to use up some of those row one minis and just make a crazy gorgeous shawl. So I think that's going to be a lot of fun. So I have that that has came since the last time. So this is from Round Mountain Fibers. And they sent over a couple of skeins of yarn. This is on their 100% Superwash Merino. This colorway is Atlantic Puffin. Very, very pretty. And then this one is Burnet Pink. Burnet, Burnet. Those would go great together. Then they also sent over some of their home dyeing kits. It's called Drunk Yarn Home Dyeing Kits. And they sent over two of those. They have these on their website. This one is, they're both on their 80% Superwash Merino, 20% Nylon is the yarn. They're Alder Fingering. This is Strawberry Daiquiri. I want to focus. There we go. And my tie. So they thought Eric, I had talked before about how I'd love to dye yarn with Eric. So they thought that we might enjoy trying it out this way. Um, they have everything in here that you need. It says the, this box contains everything you need to dye your own beverage inspired yarn, easy to follow instructions and tutorials at www.drunkyarn.com. So yeah. We'll, we'll give those a try and see how it goes. I think it's super fun that everything's right here. And you don't have to order the yarn or the dye or anything. It's all right there. Okay, so that's it. I know it was a lot. Thank you for sticking around if you <laughs> watched all of that. And I think that's it for today. Um, chatter, 
I'm really, I really enjoyed doing the vlog last week. So I hope that you guys enjoyed that kind of a different take on things. And I hope that you've enjoyed this kind of more relaxed episode today as well. That's just kind of where we are right now until I get into the office space and can kind of get back on a good routine and schedule and be more organized because I am just bursting at the seams out of this room right now and everything is still just kind of a mess from the flood and unorganized. So it'll be so nice to be in that space come August 1st and really get settled in there. I'm very excited about it. I'm hoping maybe starting in September, maybe not until October, we'll see how I settle and things flow. But to do, to start out with a knit group in the space, I have to find a table and all of that and get all that settled. But I'm hoping to do a knit group out of the space. It'll be great to hopefully meet some more local knitters if they can join us for that. And then if anyone wants to shop anything that's in stock in the shop while they're in there, they can, but it won't be a full like retail space open, you know, five, six days a week for people to come in and shop. Um, people can shop during the knit groups or events or classes or anything like that that I hold in this space. Um, and then, yeah, I told, I think it was Eric I told the other day, I would never say like no to a customer if they wanted to come in and like they messaged me and said, hey, can I come in and shop in person? I would never say no to that. So yeah, um, it'll be fun. It'll be good. That's kind of the biggest thing that's been going on. That's been definitely eating up a lot of brain space and time and 100% worth it and all good things. But definitely just took a lot this week to get everything going and ready. Um, to go for that, but I have the keys, I have everything ready, just in, um, internet on Monday and then move in August 1st. It's gonna be good, I'm excited. So I can't wait to take you guys along on that journey as well. And thank you guys for joining me today. I hope that you enjoyed this episode and I will see you again next week for a day in the life vlog. Until then, happy knitting, bye.